she came home. Carlisle's lost an empire. You fall hard enough, and you tend to be reminded of what truly matters. So, the end of the line. You ready for this? Are you? Who will you be without a score to settle? <laughs> I guess the world's most wanted fugitive will have to do. Alexa Carlyle is dead. According to the funeral invitation, that is. So naturally, it caused quite a stir when the late matriarch turned up at the breakfast table, alive and kicking. Carlyle, wisely sensing that her number is up, has emerged from exile to tie up loose ends and secure the Carlyle legacy. She may be a monster, but you have to admire her due diligence. Carlyle descends from an ancient line of warrior aristocrats. Her great-grandfather made a killing in the Second Opium War and established an empire in shipping, railroads, and newspaper publishing. While largely unknown to the public, the family still asserts its quiet dominance over global transport and logistics, media, and technology. Most senior of the partners, Alexa Carlyle, is cold as ice, tough as nails, and sharp as a razor. Incidentally, it was her late father who first brought the three families together after the end of World War II at this very house, meaning that this gentleman is the birthplace of Providence. It began here, and it ends here. Talk about poetic. One more thing. According to our intel, Carlyle keeps a case file on the constant, information that may be helpful in his recapture, so don't leave the estate without it. Right. Happy hunting, 47. See you on the other side. So, welcome back, guys, to another Hitman mission. So, today we are going to do the mission uh, Death in the Family. We will complete the mission story, Means, Motive, and Opportunity. We will also uh, complete challenges uh, such as someone could get hurt. The bridge on Thornbridge River. Elementary, my, uh, my dear Diana. As, as well as house cleaning. We will also complete poison ivy. And a matter of guilt. We have a lot to cover today. I will start at the main road so that everybody will be able to start there. Uh, everybody can follow me through. You'll need point. Do not use the ICA remote uh, uh, distraction mastery. That's crap. Absolutely crap. So we only need a coin. Uh, if you can uh, smuggle in your uh, gun at the greenhouse, because uh, you'll be frisked at the entrance. So let's get started. Thornbridge Manor, the Carlisle family's home for countless generations. The revenant Alexa Carlisle and her three adult children, younger brother Zachary, grandson and daughter-in-law, are all gathered to conduct Carlisle's sham funeral. Curiously, Carlisle summoned a famous London PI soon after arriving this morning, but his purpose at Thornbridge is yet unclear. Now. The target knows that you're coming, and her guard detail is top-notch. So Mr. Gray will secure their nearby field HQ and intercept all calls going in and out of the estate. Any appeal for backup is going to fall on very deaf ears. Good luck, gentlemen. Private investigator. I have an appointment with Madame Carlyle. Please wait. 
location of start of uh, mission story means more of an opportunity. You will need to hide here and get your coin ready. You should do some detecting yourself. Throw the coin there now, so that he comes nearby. A famous private investigator summoned by Alexa Carlisle has arrived at Thornbridge Manor. If you take his place, it may be an opportunity to get close to Madame Carlisle. Hey, who is throwing stuff around here? Come on! Now radio aim inside the bushes. Yes, you are the man. I'll throw it. Hmm? Quickly subdue him now. Wait here for Madame Carlyle to appear. Mr. Whitmer, thank you for coming on such short notice. A great tragedy has fallen upon us, and I need a quick resolution handled with absolute discretion. Results and discretion are my speciality. Very well. I suppose you will want to start at the crime scene. In my experience, a thorough examination of a potential crime scene is half the job done. Good. Fernsby will take over from here. I am Mr. Fernsby, the butler. Madam Carlyle has asked me to assist you in any way possible. Mr. Whitmer, I understand that you've traveled from London. Would you care for some refreshments? Or do you prefer to go straight to Mr. Zachary's sleeping quarters? I prefer to get started. As you wish. If you'll follow me, sir. This is Mr. Zachary's room, to my right. A locked room murder mystery, 47. I trust you'll get to the bottom of this. Let's see the laptop. Zachary was shopping for new Wellingtons last night. Not exactly what you would expect from someone suicidal. Throat markings. Why don't you use your camera to scan the dead body? Plant poison killed him. Spread shows time of death at around ten o'clock last night. You do know your poisons, forty-seven. Zachary's suicide note. Also, a sample of handwriting. It could be relevant to compare to other samples to establish its authenticity. A hidden door. It's a secret passage. This could explain how the door was locked from the inside. Hmm. Mr. Fernsby, I'm done with the crime scene. Did you establish a time of death? Zachary died around 10 o'clock last night. Well, that means the staff were off duty. And Madame Carlyle and her security didn't arrive until this morning. That leaves Madame's family and myself as the only persons here when he died. And before you ask, no, I do not have an alibi. I was alone in my office at the time of death. Here is the material that I've prepared for you. It's a list of the possible suspects and their quarters. Hopefully that will help you keep track of your findings. Please come and see me when you've solved the case and I will take you to Madame Carlyle. So how does one solve a murder in 47? Can you Motive tell me where you means were an yesterday opportunity, evening? I believe. May I suggest you ask the suspects for alibis? Or perhaps do you prefer searching the manor for clues first? Give us some privacy, would you? Don't tell Mother, okay? She's really tense these days, and the last thing I need is more hassle. I took that pretty blonde, um, Rosie, uh, for an evening 
stroll. I mean, how the fuck am I expected to cope for an entire weekend in this shithole? I'm bored out of my mind. So, is that it? What did you think of Zachary? Oh, creepy as hell. No ambition. Imagine deciding to live in a museum. You know, father says Zachary and Alexei used to be two of a kind. He had a great future ahead of him. Then suddenly, he just gave up everything. What an idiot. Thank God Daddy chose looks and brains over pedigree when he married Mummy. I don't have to worry about the inbreeding so customary in these circles. If that's all, I think I'll get back. Did you see anything suspicious last night? No. I reckon Zachary topped himself. I know I would have. Or perhaps Mr. Fernsby. I don't like him. He could have done it. Rebecca Carla, can you tell me about yesterday evening? We don't really see much of each other, my brothers and I. I suppose it takes our mother's funeral to bring us together, and even then, it's not like we sit on each other's laps. Now, let's see. Patrick, Gregory's son, disappeared straight after dinner. You know, I think he might be in some sort of trouble. Edward wanted to go as well, but Gregory convinced him to stay for a few drinks before they went off for a pint at the local at a quarter to nine. I swear Gregory enjoys Edward's discomfort over staying here. I had a conference call with my New York office at nine, so I spent three hours on my laptop in my room and went straight to bed afterwards. I don't know about Emma. She did act a bit strange. You know, I bet she was making lists for changes needing to be done once she gets her hands on Thornbridge Manor. Quite the shock she had when Mother arrived during breakfast. Is that everything, Mr... Tell me about Zachary. Did he act strange last night? You know, now you mention it, he was a lot more chatty than usual. He wanted to know about my connections in the publishing business. Apparently, a friend of his is writing a book, which strikes me as very peculiar. I didn't think he had any friends. Is there anything else you want to... Anything else you feel like mentioning? I may be wrong, but I saw Mr. Fernsby, the butler, leave Zachary's room early this afternoon. And he seemed a bit startled when he saw me in the hallway. It's probably nothing. Oh, and one more thing. Please be kind to Edward. He can only take so much. Is that everything, Mr. Whitmer? I do have a lot to see to. Scan these papers. Footprint markings. If you want to know more about this mission story, click on the top right hand corner of the screen. Got to be kidding me. Nope. Like you will need to scan these. Uh, this is a table showing lethal dosages. And this photograph. Question her. Emma Carla, can you tell me where you were yesterday evening? Surely I'm not a suspect. I need to account for everyone. Well, I spent the evening with my family, but I got an awful migraine and had to take to bed. Everyone can attest to that. I believe I went up when the boys sat down for a drink around eight o'clock. Is that all? How did you feel about Zachary? I might as well be honest. His presence was always awkward. How do you have a meaningful conversation with a man who only cares about plants? In my opinion, Alexa bears some responsibility for how this ended. She supported his self-limiting behavior by letting him live here. Anything else? Have you noticed anything else out of the ordinary? Nothing special comes to mind, except Perhaps I did get a feeling that Zachary was depressed, not just sad. 
I suppose he realized that he had no one with Alexa gone. Even Alexa must feel the pangs of guilt over that one, letting him believe she was dead. Then again, guilt isn't her strong suit. Gregory Carlyle, can you tell me where you were yesterday evening? Oh, you're wondering about my alibi, Mr. Detective. Well, um, I left Thornbridge around half eight for a pint with Edward. I wish I hadn't. <laughs> Quiz night at the inn. On the other hand, staying here with Zachary, my obnoxious sister, and the wife sporting another one of her headaches would have been a fate worse than death. <laughs> uh, the, the short of it, Zachary was very much alive when we left. I stayed for the last shout, and I was back here just before midnight. Is that all? Tell me about Zachary. Zach? Huh. Such a sad old sod. A bit heavy on the bottle. But who could blame him? The only company he had was his rare plants and mother, who travels more than she stays here. Honestly, I can't say which is the bigger ball. He's better off dead. Anything else you want to pry from- Anything else you'd like to tell me? Nothing, really. I'm just enjoying the show. Our perfect mother obviously fucked up, didn't she? Faking her own death. You know, she's explained nothing to us. I think she's scared to own up to her own mistake. Scan these papers. Come oh on, he'll continue to play this. Just need to stand very close. I'll walk a little far away. But this is still too close. Start Professor questioning. Edward Carlyle, can you tell me your whereabouts for last night? Oh, yes, this dreadful business with Zachary. I stay at the local inn. You see, I prefer not to spend the night here at Thornbridge Manor. My brother Gregory came along for a nightcap. He'll never admit it, but I think he understands that I find this whole thing upsetting and wanted to provide some comfort. I believe we went to the stag's head around half past eight. If that's all, I... Can you tell me about Zachary's behavior last night? I certainly didn't expect him to commit suicide. Sure, he was upset by Mother's supposed death. We were. But he seemed more engaged than usual. You should ask Rebecca. They had a long talk. Did you know that he hadn't left Thornbridge Manor in nearly 50 years? His plants, mother, and the staff were all the company he had. Anything else I can do to... Did you notice anything else out of the ordinary? You mean apart from the fact that we came here to bury our mother and she shows up alive and kicking? Zachary found dead in his bed this morning? Or perhaps that the planned funeral is still taking place and I have to do the eulogy? And mother will surely have a strong opinion on it afterwards. I can't breathe. Excuse me. And all. Rosie, you need to forget about Patrick. No good's gonna come of Question it. Rosie. Stick to your own kind. Oh, you mean like Chris? He treated me like shit. All he wanted to do was play his stupid video games. Never any romance. I deserve romance. Rosie, tell me what you did last night. I'm in trouble, aren't I? I... I spent the evening with Patrick. We met after dinner and I went home at one in the morning. He said he needed someone real to talk to. When he looks at you, it makes you feel like the center of the universe, like a real princess. But now he just ignores her. Well, he's under a lot of pressure. He's an idiot. That's what he is. Did you notice anything out of the ordinary? Any strangers outside the house? No, no, we saw no one outside, except Patrick's mother, Emma. We were sitting on the bench behind the greenhouse talking when she came out and um, we had to hide. You won't tell her about me and Patrick, will you? She'd insist Madame Carlyle fire me. I'm sure of it. Do right, she will. She's always going on about how things will change once she's in charge of Thornbridge Manor. That is the door to Mr. Fernsby's office. Lock with this door. Painkillers. 
Lethal, if you use enough of them. But not the poison used to kill Zachary. Of course, Madame Carlyle doesn't know that. Are you considering to frame... ready to present your findings. That is the door to Rebecca's room. Unless, of course, you want to do some more detecting. 47? Scan this. I can see from the log that Rebecca was in a conference call from 9 p.m. to midnight last night. Another hidden door. That door leads to Emma and Gregory's room. A keychain pendant for the greenhouse. What's that Statues. doing in Emma and Gregory's room, I wonder? And why is the key missing? Now this is interesting, 47. A letter from Emma's mother stating that Emma is the illegitimate child Location of Alexis the Lee's older King. brother, Montgomery. And listen to this. She claims to have witnessed Alexa and Zachary murder him. The plot thickens. You have uncovered enough evidence to tell Madame Carlyle that Emma is the murderer. Quite the detective, 47. Rub this here. Impressed. We I only suggest need you this. go tell Mr. Fernsby. An old letter, 47. Never opened. Must have slid under the secret door near... So, Mr. Whitmer, you've reached a conclusion. Take a seat. Please, go ahead. Accuse Zachary. Your brother committed suicide. I need to see some evidence to believe that, Mr. Whitmer. Zachary was found dead in a room locked from the inside. He died from a rare poisonous plant he cultivated himself. He believed you were dead, and a suicide note explained that he did not have the courage to go on without you. That's what I don't buy. I cared for him deeply, but the truth is he hated my guts. My death would not make him commit suicide, I can promise you that. Perhaps the death of your older brother, Montgomery, then. I have found evidence showing that you and Zachary killed him nearly 50 years ago. I believe that was when Zachary turned recluse. Your brother recently uncovered proof that your past deeds were for nothing. A letter from Montgomery stating that he wanted you, Madame Carlyle, to take over from your father instead of himself, as you were better suited to the job. Everything would have turned out the way you wanted, without anyone dying. What broke Zachary once, now destroyed him. And you saw this letter? I did. Oh, Zachary. How royally I fucked up. Mr. Whitmer, I'm sorry, I, 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 I just need to gather my thoughts. Right. The payment for your services. Have you decided on an amount? Ask for the kiss for Arthur Edwards. You have a file on him. Arthur Edwards? How do you... I see. Well played. For many, many years I feared what I'd see when I finally met death. Yep, he, now yep, he is dead. Me. I feel only peace. You see, I believe life is a fair fight, and I lost spectacularly in every way imaginable. It is time for me to leave the pit. Oh, before I get to that, your reward. The file you want is in the safe. A last wish from a dying woman. Get Edwards.
and make him suffer. So long. I need some privacy. Thank you. How are you, sir? Take the case file and leave. She will commit suicide. Good work for you. Uh, in a short while. That's the file on Arthur Edwards secured. Time to take care of Madame Carlyle. Mission complete. Well done, 47. Well, that's it for today, guys. See you all later. I hope you enjoyed this. If you like it, please like, share, and subscribe. We will meet soon.